This is the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. Good evening all, I'm Shashina Roll. As always, it is so great to have you with us. Topping news this evening, some 200 students sitting in orientation this morning as they prepare for the upcoming Bahamas Government Summer Youth Employment Program. The college and university students heard words of wisdom just days before they entered the workforce this coming Monday. Students selected for the 2017 Government Summer Youth Employment Program sat in orientation Friday morning as they prepare to enter the work field. Minister of State for Grands Bahama, Senator the Honorable Kwesi Thompson, telling the students to be thankful for this opportunity to learn new experiences this summer. He adds that a number of private sector businesses have come on board for the program and shared some words of advice that will help the students to succeed in the various establishments. Come to work early. Let the people meet you there. Let them see that you are interested and highly motivated to work on the job. Don't come to work late. Don't come to work stunken, as they say. Oh, I don't know if they say that anymore. <laughs> Ask a lot of questions when you get to work. Be interested. Be engaged. Be interested in what it is that is happening at that job. Ask how you could help. Offer your assistance always. Can I help you with this? Can I do this? Is it possible for me to learn how to do this? Be engaged with those people who you're going to work with. Minister Thompson also giving words of encouragement. Never let anybody discourage you or tell you how far you can fly. Dream big and don't let anybody discourage your dream. In fact, if somebody tries to discourage your dream, you use that as a motivating factor to get ahead. Yeah. Member of Parliament for Pine Ridge, Frederick McElpine, also giving chat. words of wisdom. He said that the key to success will be one's attitude. Nobody owes you anything. We're all here by the grace of God. Your parents don't owe you nothing, but we love you enough to want to see you succeed. Now, what I mean by that? You can have your BJC and BGCSC and have your bachelor's degree and be a good critical thinker and know uh, how to philosophize everything that you've been taught in college and in school. But if your attitude is poor, if your attitude is stink, the employer is going to say, you know what? Find me that person that don't have a degree, that don't have a bachelor's or a master or a PhD, but know how to say thank you, good morning, yes ma'am, no sir, and willing to learn. The first phase of students will enter the workforce on July 3rd, and a second phase will begin in the month of August. Megan Shepard, CNS Network News. In other news, newly elected local government councillors in East Grand Bahama officially sworn in this morning during a ceremony held at the Government Park in High Rock. Kimberly Mullings reports. East Grand Bahama District Administrator Harvey Roberts led the swearing-in ceremony, issuing a charge to the township members for Freetown and High Rock elected to serve the district Friday morning. He admonished the members to do the work of the people of East Grand Bahama without prejudice, operating as a functional team. You will be the representative of all the people. Red, yellow, green, blue, black, white, all the people. Please, leave your party politics right here this morning. Do not take it around the table. Administrator Roberts then advised them to be transparent and to remain mindful of their actions while in office. All of you have come here with your hands clean, right? And your nose is clean as well. You are to serve for three years. So that means in year 2022, year 2021 you are either coming for re-election or you say goodbye to this, that you leave with the name that you start with this morning. Following the administrator's charge, the elected township members were sworn in. Evelyn Roberts was elected deputy chief counselor and Donovan Bowe was elected chief counselor. We now endeavor to move collectively in a spirit of excellence to execute our duties. We thank you all for the privilege to serve. This new group of skilled professionals will serve with distinction. 
Bo says they are eager to get to work and are grateful for those who paved the way for them. This dynamic group that we have assembled this morning, comprising youth and wisdom, have pledged their support to East Grand Bahama to act without fear or favor. Our communities have selected us for such a time as this. Together we will seek to build and grow on the work of the previous consul and my friend, the former chief consular, Reverend Marcus Cooper. Marcus Cooper and Dorothy Cooper were elected chairman and deputy chairman for the Freetown Township, and Eric Ballou and Sophia Higgs were elected chairman and deputy chairman for the High Rock Township. Other councillors include Glenroy Cooper, Hiram Heald, and Chanel Mackey, and township members Betsy Hepburn, Daniel Bain, and Wilton Thomas. Kimberly Mullings, ZNS Network News. The Minister of State for Grand Bahama issuing a press statement late this afternoon announcing that in keeping with the government's mandate to repeal and replace the Grand Bahama Port Authority Investment Incentives Act 2016 comes an extension of the Grand Bahama Port Area Investment Incentives for an additional six months. Now, according to the press release, this order will come into force on July 4th, 2017, ending January 2018. The government will use this period of time to review and replace certain aspects of the act which will eliminate preferential treatment and government bureaucracy that impedes business growth on this island. The release goes on to say that this will be a collaborative effort between the Bahamas between the Bahamas government, the Grand Bahama Port Authority, its licensees and the Grand Bahama Chamber of Commerce. Switching gears now, police in Grand, Bah in Grand Bahama and Abaco needs your assistance in locating a suspect wanted for grievous harm. Ezrin Elkin Green, age 34 years of age, and from number 28 Shackleton Lane, Freeport, Grand Bahama, or Jack Smith Corner, Hannah Hill, 8 Mile Rock, Grand Bahama. He is wanted by the Central Detective Unit in Grand Bahama once again for grievous harm. He is described as standing at 5 feet 8 inches in height, Weighing around 150 pounds, dark brown complexion and average built. Police are asking anyone for any information on the whereabouts of Ezrin Elkin Green to please contact the police in Avico at telephone numbers 367-2560, 367-3436 or the Central Detective Unit in Grand Bahama at telephone numbers 3503107 through 12 or 911-919, or you may call your nearest police station. Now, police were also searching for 34-year-old Jaquiel Jacade Backford of no fixed address wanted for murder in Abaco. Reports say he was arrested around 8 last evening by the Eastern Division of the Police Force. Meanwhile, two men hauled before the Freeport Magistrate Court today charged in two separate cases of incest. Italia Hall reports. Oh, oh, oh. Emotions ran high outside of the Garnet Lavarity Justice Center on Friday as residents, some becoming vocal, gathered to get a glimpse of a Grand Bahama man charged with incest. Damien Allen, a.k.a. Damien Allen Parker, aged 34 years of Hudson Estates, was arraigned before Magistrate Rangan Johnson in Magistrate Court No. 3 on one count of incest. Allen was not required to enter a plea as the charge is an indictable offense. The case was adjourned to October 31st, where the matter will proceed by voluntary bill of indictment. Allen was remanded to the Bahamas Department of Correctional Services until trial. Charged in another case of incest was Michael Edward Swan, aged 55 years of Kitchener Avenue. Swan was arraigned on one count of incest before Magistrate Rangan Johnson in Magistrate Court No. 3. He was not required to enter a plea as the matter is an indictable offense. The case was then adjourned to October 31st when the matter is expected to proceed by voluntary bill of indictment. Swan was remanded to the Bahamas Department of Correctional Services until trial. Reporting for ZNS Network News, I'm Italia Hall. Stay with us, there is more news right after this. 